the uh, seminar itself, uh, the main topics are, I will start with earthquake experiences with irregular structures, show you a, a few things that have happened in the past from which we have drawn lessons. Uh, second, we will go into horizontal structural irregularities, mainly how our codes and standards deal with them or, or require us to deal with them, and then uh, vertical structural irregularities. In all the slides, the section numbers that you will see are from AAC 710 which has been adopted, as you know, by the 2012 IBC as well as the 2015 IBC, which not too many people are using yet. So, so these are kind of current section numbers, uh, if you like. Now, when we talk about irregularities, it is irregularities in the configuration of a structure. Uh, what does configuration mean? Uh, relative arrangement of parts, something produced by such arrangement. So this is basically what configuration means, how the parts of a structure are arranged. And, and if the arrangement is irregular, then there are consequences when it comes to seismic performance. That's, that's basically the topic today. Uh, when it comes to structural engineering, we deal with horizontal configuration and vertical configuration kind of uh, much of the time separately. Uh, horizontal configuration obviously is looking at how the parts are arranged horizontally in plan and vertical configuration is looking at how parts are arranged vertically or, or along the elevation of a structure. <clears throat> now on this slide we say, and, 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 and this is <laughs> nothing, a, a truer statement could not be made. The configuration of a structure can significantly affect its performance during a strong earthquake that produces the ground motion contemplated in our codes and standards. So we have our uh, design earthquake and, and, and that is strong earthquake shaking the configuration of a structure can significantly affect the performance uh, during a strong earthquake. Okay. So that, that is something I'm sure we all actually know. Uh, AAC 7 seismic design provisions, this is very, very important. What we are using today in our codes and standards by way of seismic design provisions were developed basically for regular structures. If you go back and, and, and look at how things are evolved, you, you will see that that is definitely the case. Past earthquakes have repeatedly shown that irregular buildings suffer greater damage than regular buildings. This is something, again, I, I believe you all know. This happens, this is, this is, this is not unimportant. The, what we said in the second bullet item, that, that, that irregular structures attract more damage to themselves in an earthquake, that happens even with good design and construction. Okay, so, so there is something in the configuration itself that attracts damage, even when you, that, that the design is proper and the construction is proper. Now, uh, earthquake experiences, which is uh, kind of the first topic in the seminar, uh, we will give, we will look at a, a few earthquakes. The first one is the 1989 so-called Loma Prieta earthquake in the San Francisco area. Uh, we will look at three and four story wood frame brick veneer buildings in the Marina district of San Francisco. Uh, 